Hey guys, welcome back to BeerGeekNation.com on vacation. I'm up here visiting uh, friends and family in Massachusetts. And the ironic part about the beer we're going to look at today is I had to drive 440 miles from Pennsylvania in order to get it, even though it's brewed in Pennsylvania. This, my friends, from Victory Brewing is their Wild Devil Ale coming in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. It is basically their Hop Devil IPA, one of their classic, classic takes on the IPA style, pretty English style IPA. And then they add Brett to it, Brett, uh, Brettanomyces, which is a wild yeast strain. I'm going to funk it up a little bit. They haven't brewed this beer in a while. It's been at least a few years. Um, with the new facility they finally opened they decided to re-release this one very limited um, it came and went through my part of Pennsylvania very very quickly I saw it on draft one place uh, but up here in Massachusetts I found a couple bottles of it so I decided to finally review it because I enjoyed it the first time I had it so let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells taste and give the final verdict on the victory wild devil all right guys so the aroma on the wild devil Wow, very, very funky. That wet hay, barnyard, horse blanket type of funk in there. A little bit of pineapple, probably from the breath they're using. Definitely getting a slight citrus, uh, grapefruit, piney type of hoppiness, a slight caramel undertone to it. But the Brett is definitely the star of this one. All right, guys, so the taste on the Wild Devil. Cheers. Yeah, it's really nice. Not too funky. So if you don't like funky beers, you don't need to be afraid of this one. Right at the front of the tongue, a huge pop of bitterness, pine needle, definitely a West Coast type of flavor to it. Middle of the mouth, there's a nice body to this one, a nice malty sweetness in there. Plays off that funkiness from the Brett really nicely. Again, wet hay, very farmyardy, barn, barnyardy farm uh, type of flavors in there. The hops shine off of that grapefruit, a little bit of mango, a little bit of pineapple in there. Very astringent, very dry in the finish. Very, very, very dry. I mean like over big, big time West Coast dry on this one. A little bit of grapefruit, more of that funkiness in the back. Very drinkable. It's very clean and refreshing at 6.7%, um, but it's definitely a funky IPA. It's really, really good stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the victory, Wild Devil, 6.7%. Again, limited availability, so get it if you can. Uh, guys, this one is going to get a B plus. I think this beer might have been a little bit ahead of its time. Again, they released this beer a couple years ago. I don't know how well it sold, but they decided not to release it for a few years, I think due to production issues, and they were just at capacity. So now that... You know, they're able to produce it again at the new brewery, at the bigger facility. Um, and I think Brett beers are kind of in the forefront. Brett IPAs are kind of an up and coming style. I think this is a time for that beer. It's really solid. It's a nice, um, you know, it's a West Coast kind of hot profile, very dry, but it's got the maltiness of an East Coast beer. Then you add that funkiness in there. It just kind of mixes it up a little bit. It's really, really a good beer. Um, an interesting beer to say the least. If you haven't had a Brett IPA, you can get Victory stuff. Definitely, definitely look for this one. Getting a B plus for me. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.